An estimated 3.1 million adults, 1.3% of people in the United States, have been diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. Inflammatory bowel diseases, which are chronic inflammatory conditions of the gastrointestinal tract, include ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Characteristics of these inflammatory bowel diseases include relapsing and remitting course periods where symptoms are increased related to inflammation, and periods where there's the absence of inflammation and often absence of symptoms. Ulcerative colitis affects the inner lining of the colon, starting at the rectum and moving upward in about a third of patients. Patients with ulcerative colitis have symptoms attributed to inflammation of the rectum, including frequent bowel movements, urgency, and the potential passing of blood into stools. Abdominal pain is less common in ulcerative colitis, but patients may describe cramping before bowel movements. Crohn's disease can affect any part of the gastrointestinal tract, from the mouth to the anus, but most commonly impacts the ileum and colon. Unlike ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease involves all layers of the bowel wall. Crohn's disease is typically marked by abdominal pain and frequent stools. Patients may also experience systemic symptoms such as fever and unexplained weight loss, reflecting the broader impact of the disease. Complications of Crohn's disease can include areas of narrowing, which can cause obstructive symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and the inability to pass gas. The exact cause of IBD is unknown. It is thought to be an interplay of genetics, susceptibility, environmental factors, and inappropriate immune response. Risk factors for IBD include family history, smoking, which is protective in ulcerative colitis, medications such as antibiotics and NSAIDs, procedures such as appendectomy and or tonsillectomy seem to increase the risk of Crohn's disease and a diet rich in saturated fat. Treatment for both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease is multifaceted. Medications such as aminosalicylates and corticosteroids are often used to reduce inflammation. Immunomodulators and biologics can help manage immune system activity. Dietary modifications tailored to individual patient needs can alleviate symptoms and improve quality of life. In more severe cases, surgical intervention may be necessary, such as resection of affected bowel segments in Crohn's disease or colectomy in ulcerative colitis. The goal is to reduce inflammation, manage symptoms, and achieve long-term remission. Understanding the clinical distinctions and shared risk factors of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease is crucial for effective patient management.